Adam, I don't know that she's going to be able to make it here. There's so many power lines down, and uh, if she does, she needs to try to come not down 28. It's, uh, yeah, I'm going to pull up a little bit. And I mean, I was right down the road. I mean, we were in a bathroom in a business because there was stuff hitting the side of the metal building. And I'm like, yep, this metal building ain't going to hold up too much to this, uh, to what's going on right now. But, but this is head, it's, it should be somewhere around Pineville right now. I hear it's going to be going toward Ball. So take cover because it is bad. Oh. Uh, Adam, there's right now the traffic, they, they're fixing to start stopping it up here, it looks like. Uh, this parking lot right here with all these vehicles, there's no windows left in anything. All the buildings out here have no windows. It jerked, it blew all the glass out, so. Yeah, but whenever, whenever I realized, when I found, you called me and told me where Knighton's daycare is, there was I was gonna go out there and check. So, but I mean, you can. I mean, it's this is bad. See the vehicle on the side? There's metal light poles in the middle of the road. Oh, uh, I talked to Brian Franklin, who lives right off McKithen over here, and he is. Uh, they fix the, they're making us turn around, but this is one of those churches right there. They're going, they're checking everything over there. Uh, the Johnny Down, the, the ball field over there looks pretty rough. Uh, a lot of the poles are still up, but there's a portable building that's not where it's supposed to be. It's way out in the front. I saw it whenever I come by. Right there all have roof damage. And guys, I was just not riding around. You know, I was right out here in the middle of it uh, or right on the edge of it and come to check on my nephew who's in that daycare right there. Uh, right, you know, luckily it was, you know, not right on top of them. So, um, yeah. But I was in, a, I was in Bradley Brick and uh, we were in there and the wind started blowing and it was hitting the building so hard and we looked out kind of through one of the panes on the door and there was, uh, yeah, there was, uh, it was blowing some kind of hard out there so we pulled over but look at some of these vehicles. These are vehicles that got shoved off the road. Uh, there's a bunch of them back into Ellick. I don't know where they got everybody rerouting. I'm going to try to make it around the Bayou Rapids. And they, you know, I don't know what was going on in that one church, but that could not have been good. Uh, looks like all the power's out. But it was pretty serious. Um, yep, pretty serious.
quarter horse. They look like they're heading home for the day. I'm gonna loop around on Bayou Rapids. But that's it, just uh, say prayers for all those that are in those buildings and that just had all that damage done. It's, uh, it's some serious uh, damage. It's all, it goes all the way back up to the Coca-Cola distributor building. Uh, there's actually some 18 wheelers with power lines on top of them across the road. So uh, these people need our prayers. Bye.